Okay, you can't see my face in this video, but hopefully the audio will be better, and I think that the screen quality is about the same. So let's hope this works a little bit better. Um, this week, we're learning two different words. Well, today and tomorrow, we're learning two different words. I'm going to give you another list on Wednesday, so please be diligent to do this either today or tomorrow. Um, the list that I'm going to give you on Wednesday, you know a lot of the words already, though, so don't feel overwhelmed. Um, today, though, we are going to go over ser and estar. They both mean to be. Ser is the permanent form. Estar is the temporary form. Okay. Now, there are five different tenses that are typically used in Spanish. Present, preterite, imperfect, conditional, and future. I am asking you to only learn three, present, imperfect, and future. So that's um, the three tenses, and then I want you to learn them for the five different people. Yo, tú, él, ella, usted, nosotros, and ellos, ellas, ustedes. You do not have to learn vosotros, okay? That is not used in Mexico. It's not used in a number of countries. Even in the countries that it's used in, you can get away without it. As If you plan on traveling to one of those countries, I would suggest getting familiar with it so that way you can understand what other people are saying. But it's typically avoidable. Um, I'm not going to confuse your brains with it because it's not something we have in English, okay? So I'm going to quickly run through all the words that I want you to memorize. And then I will explain the different tenses, okay? Because even though we're only going to learn present, imperfect, and future, I want you to understand all five of them, okay? Eventually, when speaking Spanish, you will need to know all five tenses. They are important. These are both irregular verbs, so you will just have to memorize the words. Um, there are a few that sounds similar, okay, in the imperfect tense especially, um, a, s, a, a, n, those are the endings on tu, el, and ellos, okay, that should help you out a little bit. Um, the other thing is, in the imperfect tense, yo and el are the same word, that should help a little bit, but I did, um, on the Quizlet, I wrote, like, on... Ser imperfect I, okay, that says era. So I said era yo, I was, era él, he was, okay? So there's a little clause in there that'll tell you which one is which. So that way when you're playing matching and stuff, it makes sense. Um, I'm just going to read through the ones that I want you to memorize. So that way you know how they're said, okay? Yo, starting at present, and then imperfect, and then future, and then I'll go to tu, okay? Yo soy, era, seré, tu eres, eras, serás, él es, era, será, nosotros somos, éramos, seremos, ellos son, eran, Serán. Okay, and then estoy is the second section there. Yo estoy, estaba, estaré. Tú estás, estabas, estarás. Él está, estaba, estará. Nosotros estamos, estábamos, estaremos. Ellos están, estaban, estarán. Okay, so those are all the words that I need you to memorize. Um, and then if we just go down further, I will send you this document. I haven't yet, but I will send it to you. Um, these are the different tenses, okay? The present tense is quite obvious. We all know what present is. It's happening right now. It's current. Okay, I am sitting on the couch. That is what is happening. And then preterite, expressing a past action or state, but that has a definite beginning and end, okay? Something that is already over, but also something that 
had like a beginning time and an ending time, okay? Now, the other thing is that, um, nope, don't know what I was thinking. Okay, that ship has sailed. Um, <laughs> okay, so like I was, um, very disciplined. Fui muy disciplinada. Okay. That was from one specific time to another specific time. I was that. And I'm not anymore. Okay. Now, I hope that I am disciplined, but I'm definitely not what I once was. Um, the imperfect is denoting a past action in progress, but not completed at the time in question. Okay. So that's where you would use like the estoy version or the estar version of the verb to be. So estar, but in the imperfect. So estaba cansada. I was tired, but I still am tired. The action is in progress, okay? Um, these are a little bit more confusing when it comes to the verbs to be, okay? Um, because there's already a temporary and a permanent form, but I still need you to understand these tenses, okay? Um, yes, conditional, expressing a condition, okay? So sería is I would be, okay? I would be there if my car were working, okay? There's a condition on that statement. It's not necessarily 100%. However, the future tense is, I will be there no matter what, okay? I will be there. I'm not wondering. I'm not asking. It's not if this happens, if that doesn't happen, it, it is going to happen, okay? So those are the different tenses. I hope that makes sense. If it's a little bit confusing, I think it'll make more sense as we continue with other verbs, okay? We'll have a better understanding of how to use them. For now, I want you to memorize those three tenses, though, present, perfect, and future. Um, again, don't worry about vosotros. That is not something we're doing right now. We're also going to skip over preterite and conditional. Now, I have given you a quizlet. I want you to do that for 30 minutes, either today or tomorrow. And then, but it's technically not due until Thursday evening at 10. Now, I want you to do that right now, though. I don't want you to waste your time and then have all of your homework due on Thursday, okay? And you're not able to finish it in time. I want you to pace yourself. Do this today because I'm going to assign you another homework on Wednesday. Um, if you have not given your attendance yet, I want you to comment on the assignment in Google Classroom. What is one thing you enjoyed last week? Alrighty, I hope you have a good day.